The odds are about 400 to 1 against this baby sea turtle surviving to adulthood. But through the efforts of Dr. Donna Shaver and the Turtle Lab at Padre Island National Seashore, it has a fighting chance. The sea turtles that we're going to be seeing today are the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. It's the smallest species of sea turtle in the world and the world's most endangered sea turtle species. Each summer, the National Park invites the public to attend the release of newly hatched Kemp's Ridley eggs. Crowds gather at dawn to witness the hordes of newborns as they gravitate en masse toward the sea. Uh, not them. Them. It's warming them up a little bit. Dr. Shaver has personally guided this conservation project from the beginning. I've been doing this since 1980. Human activities caused the decline of this magnificent species, and I think we've got a responsibility to try to bring it back. With help from tourists who report nesting sea turtles, biologists and volunteers collect all the eggs they find and incubate them, protecting them from the dangers of flooding, crushing, and predation. When the eggs hatch, they are released on the sand of the park, so that the females will recognize their birthplace when they return to lay their own eggs. The volunteers provide cover and keep watch for crabs and seagulls. You may be tempted to wave them away, but this is the international sign for I've got food, so please don't do that. Once they hit the water, the hatchlings are on their own. But the park has seen record numbers of nests over the past six years. With the continued dedication of the Turtle Lab and the help of the community, Texas beachgoers can expect to see lots more turtles in the years to come.